Hello, I'm Dr. Claudia Fedespicchiale, and I'm going to present the study Totally Robotic Intracorporeal versus Open Padwell Ileal New Bladder. Comparison of Eurodynamic and Functional Profiles from a Single Center Prospective Series. I have no affiliations to disclose, and we can go to the study. Orthotopic new bladders are becoming increasingly common following cystectomy for muscle-invasive bladder cancer. Uh, several different techniques have been described. Uh, they can be open or entirely intracorporeal robotic surgeries. Uh, and there are uh, different ways the um, segments of the tubularized ileum can be folded into the new pouch. Uh, however, um, reliable data on the function functional outcomes of those nail bladders uh, are lacking. And um, in particular, we don't know uh, about the possible differences between uh, a nail bladder obtained by an open technique or a robotic, completely intracorporeal technique. Um, in our study, uh, we compare the functional outcomes of nail bladders obtained by open and totally intracorporeal robotic uh, technique. Um, the kind of nail bladder um, we've studied uh, is the Padua ideal nail bladder. So, we enrolled 43 patients with an ileal orthotopic nail bladder. 19 had their nail bladder done with an open technique, the other 24 with an entirely intracorporeal robotic technique. The median follow up was 15 months, and uh, all the patients had a complete urodynamic evaluation. Uh, aside of the normal urodynamic parameters, uh, we also collected data on the presence of a residual peristaltic activity of the new pouch uh, and uh, data on the pressure profile of this residual peristaltic activity. Um, additionally, uh, we consider the daytime and nighttime continence rate and the stress continence rate. This table reports our urodynamic results. As we can see, open and robotic technique for new bladders were completely comparable. Uh, the only variable um, which, which showed uh, a significant difference between the two was the presence of residual peristaltic activity. In fact, the rate of residual peristaltic activity was significantly higher in robotic new bladders than in open uh, new bladders. However, no differences were noted uh, when it came to the amplitude of those contractions. Then we compared the daytime and nighttime continence rate of the two groups of nail bladders and the stress continence rate. And we found that actually there were no significant differences in terms of continence. In conclusion, according to our data, we can say that both technique, open and robotic, are safe and a valid option um, for patients with bladder cancer. Uh, their functional outcomes are comparable and anyway satisfying. We also suppose that the differences in terms of residual peristaltic activities, which is higher in robotic near bladder, uh, may come from the intracorporeal suture or folding technique and may disappear or become less significant at a later follow-up. But of course, further studies are needed. Thank you very much for your attention and any question is welcome.